It's the Cats Up Plays! Welcome to the Cats Up. Today we're catching up on Surgery Squad. As you may or may not have known, I've had a stomach virus. And I've had my butthole leaking. And I figured what way to handle that and understand it. Than doing a virtual colonoscopy. I know, we've all been asking for it. I've, I've, you guys have been messaging me all the time like, Hey, Mr. Ketsub, when are you going to do a virtual colonoscopy? When are you going to go into someone's butt and mess around? And you know what? I'm here to do that. I've always wanted to be in the medical field. I've studied medicine when I was younger. I got kicked out of medical school because, you know, the things I did with dead bodies. But you know what? They weren't fighting back. They were loving it. I was just kissing them. You know, sure, I put myself inside of them, but, you know, they seemed to enjoy it. They had nothing else going for them. But, yeah, I, I figured let's get back to my roots and do these tut virtual tutorials so I could learn more about the sweet medical field that I didn't get to do, you know? It says, personally, I consider myself a doctor, but, you know, society and the law says I need a medical degree. To, pfft, what do they know? I know the human body. I know the, the funny bone from the neck bone to the elbow bone. I know all those bones. I'm, I know my bones. So we're going to do a colonoscopy because I just, I just love, I would love to help people. And what better way to help people than to cut them open and then mess around with their insides. That sounds amazing. She's wearing a gown. So we're going to help this fine young woman in her 50s out by giving her drugs. So let's rub some alcohol. Oh, there you go. Ooh, rub some cleaning alcohol because she's dirty. Sure, she's 50, but she's a dirty old lady. Mm. We're going to put a knee. I don't, I don't like needles, actually. I'm not good with them. Uh, I, I miss. Uh, and let's, there we go. Let's put in her veins. And give us some sweet, sweet drugs. I don't condone drugs, but if they're medical drugs, they're doctor prescribed and doctors know best. Except for the doctors I dealt with. They were like, you need to be on antipsychotics. And I'm like, you poppycock, you know nothing. Now leave me alone and let me play with this this person and the poopy comes out their butthole and shove shove my fingers in there. You know, to check, to check if she has colon cancer. If she feels cramping. And we're going to stick this giant robot snake in her butt just to look around. It's normal. It just, just, it's just... It's normal. I mean, personally, I wish I had one of these. I wish, you know, someone would take the time to shove a giant metal robot snake up my butthole. It'd be awesome. So right now I'm lubing this up. And as you always know, remember that, boys and girls, always lube. It's a always lube. When two people love each other, they use lube. Like mommies and daddies. And when mommy daddies really love each other, sometimes they go and dry. But that's just, but I preferably go lube. Especially uh, if you're using hamsters. There we go. I'm, I'm missing. It's it's as clear as day or butthole, but I am just missing. Uh, uh, I'll have to click on it. Okay, whoops. We can watch the camera oh, there you go. Look at that. That's just... That is a beautiful rectum. I know my rectums. It, it's quite clean. I mean, it, it's one of those things like nature's, nature's toilet paper is the hamster. So I could clearly tell this woman has been using a hamster to crawl up her anus and uh, clean out all the residual fecal matter and all whatnot. And it's normal. When mommies and daddies love each other, as I said... They use sometimes small rodents to... Uh -oh, oh, she has something. I might have been wrong. She, if she had a hamster in her butt, they, they, hamsters like clean environments. So they usually clean out the colon when it's up there. Fine work. So no the and clearly she, she wasn't prescribed a First, hamster for her butt. That's, it's a shame. But uh, that's what mommies and daddies do if they love each other. They use hamsters Fantastic. and other objects. So if, like, let's say scope, your hamster, Mr. Squeakies, is gone, there's a good chance. That thing is disgusting. It looks like a testicle. Ugh. There's a good chance Mr. Squeaky is in someone's butthole, making them happy. So if you're sad that Mr. Squeaky is gone forever, no, 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 don't feel bad. Mr. Squeaky is in someone's beehole, making them happy. And I think Mr. Squeaky wants all of us to be happy. 
So don't let Mr. Squeaky die in vain. He was, he was, he was tickling somebody's colon from the inside and cleaning it, as hamsters do. You can try other rodents. Don't use other animals like cats and stuff. They don't really belong in your butt. Just stick to small rodents. Maybe a rat. That Rats are a bit evil. They will eat you, though. So. And you're doing a if you if you want to know more about now rodents and buttholes, ask your parents. They usually know what they're talking about. Slowly. They've been there. They know now what they're doing. Oh, see, there's another one. this woman hasn't Let's been loved long the enough, and there's clearly that. another dollop of nasty fleshies in her in her colon. Let's rip that out. If she had a hamster up there, again, it would be it'd be clean. She wouldn't have these things. Ah. Uh. Back in the ascending colon. Oh, now we're going to the ascending colon. And all looks good. You know what? But despite not having a hamster up her butt, she lo it's a good colon. I could tell. Our patient is now in recovery. And we did it. See? Be there one to two hours. She might feel bloated or need to pass and that's normal, too. And since we removed two polyps, she'll probably have a small amount Ah, of that's okay. I have blood in my stool all the time. And I'm perfectly fine. If she has heavy rectal bleeding, Again, Tylenol or whatever. That's good. Whatever. Nothing a hamster won't fix. Experiences swelling in her abdomen. Well, good news. And the biopsy showed our patient's polyps were benign. Oh, perfect. Then we just saved a patient. Good. Well, that was amazing. I had fun with that. So, yeah. I would love to learn more about the human body. Mm, just... Sticking my hands in there. Mm, just so good. So thank you for watching. If you found this educational and you learned something, feel free to like or subscribe. I'm sure you did. Or if you want to try it yourself, I'll leave a link in the description. And uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm, I'm back. I'm feeling better. My colon has purged itself of all rectal fecal stuff. And it just feels great. So thank you, Mr. Hamster. You died in... You died a hero to me. And thank you all you guys who left really nice messages when I was sick. So, cool. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys are the bee's knees. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.